Let us be fully aware that we are in God's holy presence. Let us listen to the gospel of today. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. An argument arose among the disciples about who among them was the greatest. Jesus realized the intention of their hearts and took a child and placed it by his side. And he said to them, Whoever receives this child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. For the one who is least among all of you is the one who is the greatest. Then John said in reply, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow in our company. Jesus said to him, Do not prevent him, for whoever is not against you is for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Creator of all, we are grateful that from your communion of love, you created our planet to be a home for all. By your holy wisdom, you made the earth to bring forth a diversity of living beings that filled the soil, water, and air. Each part of creation praises you in their being and cares for one another from our place in the wealth of life. With the psalmist, we sing your praise that in your house, even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young. We remember that you call human beings to keep your garden in ways that honor the dignity of each creature and conserve their place in the abundance of life on earth. But we know that our will to power pushes the planet beyond her limits. Our consumption is out of harmony and rhythm with Earth's capacity to heal herself. Habitats are left barren or lost. Species are lost and systems fail. Where rifts and burrows, mountain tops and ocean dips once teemed with life and relationships. Wet and dry deserts lie empty as if uncreated. Human families are displaced by insecurity and conflict, migrating in search of peace. Animals flee fires, deforestation and famine, wandering in search of a new place to find a home to lay their young and live. In this season of creation, we pray that the breath of your creative word would move our hearts as in the waters of our birth and baptism. Give us faith to follow Christ to our just place in the beloved community. Enlighten us with the grace to respond to your covenant and call to care for our common home. 
in our dealing and keeping, gladden our hearts to know that we participate with your Holy Spirit to renew the face of your earth and safeguard home for all. In the name of the one who came to proclaim good news to all creation, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Itaas po natin ang ating kanang kamay para sa panunumpa ng katapatan sa watawat ng Pilipinas. Ako ay Pilipino. Buong katapatang nanunumpa sa watawat ng Pilipinas at sa bansang kanyang sinasag-isag ng may dangal, katarungan at kalayaan na pinakikilos ng sambayan ng makajos, makatao, makakalikasan at makabansang.